Hi, I'm Wade Crowfoot, California's Natural Resources Secretary, and this is Soaring Over the Floodplains, an interactive tour of a very special place in California. The expansive landscape before you is known as the Sacramento River Basin. It's a magnificent floodplain that spans more than 160 miles long and 40 miles wide. Most importantly, these lands are vital to the health and protection of all Californians, both people and wildlife alike. This incredible place is made up of a mosaic of rivers, natural wetland preserves, and agricultural fields. You'll see how this integrated landscape works together to create fish and wildlife habitat, protect people and communities from flooding, and provide places to grow the food we eat. People from all walks of life are coming together to both enhance and sustain this harmonious floodplain system. Here are a few people leading the effort. The Central Valley is the heart of the Pacific Flyway and one of the world's single most important areas for wintering waterfowl and other water birds with millions of them using a matrix of wetlands and wildlife-friendly agricultural fields to rest and prepare for the return to northern breeding grounds in the spring. Decades of dedication by Sacramento Valley conservationists, including NGOs, rice farmers, water districts, public agencies, and others, have made the valley a productive landscape for both birds and people. But there's more work to do. The Sacramento Valley is structured with birds in mind, but other species, notably salmon, once used this very same ground. Our work now is to adapt the valley's current and former floodplains so that fowl, farms, and now fish can all thrive. So this may look like just a flooded field, but there is a ton more going on underneath the surface. And conservationists before us found a ton of success in flooding dry fields for water bird conservation. And we're finding that the exact same actions can benefit fish populations too. And here's why. These fields are full of protein and fat-rich bugs called Daphnia, or water fleas, and fish love to eat them. And it turns out that fish that either get out here onto the floodplain and eat these bugs here, or fish in the river that eat these bugs when these fields are drained and the bugs are exported back out to the river, any fish that eats these bugs has a much better chance of survival on their migration out to the Golden Gate and in their growth to adulthood in the Pacific Ocean. The petals in winter give way to sprouting rice in the warmer months. We grow food not only for the people of California, but across the globe. Our crops provide the economic engine that allow us to actively manage the land for the benefit of wildlife. We maximize every inch of land and every drop of water in the Sacramento River Basin. And that is the floodplain forward way. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Sacramento River Basin. With so many incredible projects underway that are helping fish, wildlife, and people alike, we hope you will join us on this journey to create a long-term sustainable floodplain system for generations to come.